Hey all, so we launched Race Pro at the Cape Town Cycle Tour this last week and there was a lot of excitement around it but there were also a lot of questions around the products and the purpose behind this video is to clarify a lot of the questions that I was asked while standing at Expo. So first I'm going to deep dive into this product a little bit and once I've done that I'm also going to explain to you the differences between Race Pro, Race and Endure because a lot of people ask me when and how to use and the differences between the different products. So let's talk about Race Pro first. Race Pro is quite simply a very high gastric emptying carbohydrate. It's a super carb, very expensive carbohydrate, which gets absorbed at a very rapid rate. It's a highly branched cyclic dextrin, a very complex dextrin, and the purpose is that it empties the stomach very quickly. It provides you immediate energy and it also reduces the risk um, of GI or gastrointestinal distress. What is else is unique about the drink? It's carbohydrates blended with a protein. So the protein is specifically there to help delay the onset of muscle fatigue. We know that when you're going long distance, especially over four hours in any training or racing session, you do get what we call muscle cannibalization. The idea of the protein is to try and delay the onset of that muscle fatigue and it does work well. It has been tested quite a bit. So this is a carbohydrate and a protein combination. It's quite a high calorie drink. And one of the advantages of this product is, is that you can supersize the serving. In other words, you can make a concentrate in a bottle and that can feed you for an entire race. You would not need anything else. You would not need gels, you would not need chews. The only food you would need or the only source of fuel you would need would be the Race Pro. It would see you for an entire ultra distance triathlon. It is also the only drink in our range that contains caffeine. The two flavors, the one being chocolate and the one being mocha, which is a chocolate and coffee flavor. We use real chocolate, real coffee, and caffeine comes in the natural coffee. They are actually quite uh, non-sweet, if you want to look at it that way. They're very palatable over a longer period of time, and that was another reason behind the flavors being used, is that over time, when things get very sweet, these don't get as sweet, and in actual fact, they're highly palatable. Let's now look at the products, Endure, Race, and Race Pro. Endure is a stability carbohydrate drink. It is there to stabilize blood sugar, and it does this by emptying at a much slower rate over a longer period of time. If you do suffer from blood sugar issues, etc., that is still the drink for you. It is a blood sugar stabilizer, and I would advise to carry on using it. It can also be used over shorter or longer distance events. It does not matter. And if you wanted to add protein to that, you could do that in some form of an external protein, or you could actually add some protein into that bottle. As far as race goes against race pro, race is purely a high calorie carbohydrate drink. There's no protein in race. Race is used for high intensity racing, shorter distances, I would say anything up to maybe three or four hours. But if you're going to go over that mark, I would suggest switching to race pro. Uh, if you're doing stage racing, I would suggest using race pro as well because of the protein aspect, you will find it highly beneficial, especially due to the fact that you need to recover quite quickly between the stages and your protein intake is quite significant. So there you have it all. If you've got any questions, please feel free to email me at coach at 32gr.com. Uh, you can also go and ask questions on our social media, the 32GR Facebook page, on Twitter, as well as my own personal Fitness Freak page on Facebook. Looking forward to hearing from you. It is an awesome product and I highly recommend trying it.